Hello everyone. Thank you replay viewers for coming and watching this and welcome to the live viewers. Hey, how are you doing? Go ahead and hit share if you think other people might enjoy a little walk around the exterior of this historical home here in the Santa Barbara area. I'll introduce myself quickly because I tend to forget until the end. Hey everyone, it's me. It is about 95 to 100 degrees here today. It's really, really hot. So I'm in the shade for now, but I'm going to walk around. We'll go in the sun. So I think my lipstick's melting. Anyway, it's Alexander Funfit on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, our blog, funandfit.org. So please follow me right here. I'll follow you back. Let's take So last week when I took you downtown Santa Barbara and we went around De La Guerra Plaza and I showed you some places that were built there that were from 18... 28 and 1849. This one's a little bit newer and totally different style. Those were the Spanish adobe styles, Casa de la Guerra, and this is Stowe House, built in 1872 by, I guess what, a guy named Stowe, Sherman Stowe. So let's walk around the exterior. I have, the Historical Society has their headquarters here, and I have never ever seen this open. In the summertime, they have concerts right here and on the other side of all those trees is a lake that I've um, shown you before, Lake Los Carneros. It's nearly dry from the drought, but it's really pretty here. So let's just walk around. Very nice. I mean, for 1872, especially in this area, because there were so few people living here in 1872, this is quite a fancy show house. And they must have known it was going to be a cabillion. Oh, I missed your comment. I'm sorry. They must have known it was going to be a cabillion degrees here because they have these porches. This place is just huge. It's way bigger than my house. I wouldn't mind trading it. So they have like the blacksmith over there. This is where the workers lived. Okay, nowadays they have these modern cars. And all around Santa Barbara, you'll find little hitching posts. And I've got pictures of them on my Instagram because again, the town um, back in the 1800s and 1900s, lots and lots of horses. Oh my God, it's hot. No matter where I walk, the sun is in my eyes. So that's it. And then they have a caretaker who actually lives here. That's the visitor center. So I'm going to say that it's closed right now since the thing is, I've been here so many times and I've never seen it open. So I don't know it's ours. But if you do come here, it said headed to Paso Robles. Oh, Paso Robles is just a couple, it's two hours to the north of us, up the 101. Paso Robles has a lot of great wine, and they've got some nice restaurants up there. So over there is the train depot, so if you do come here to Stowe Park and Lake Los Caneros, they've got a train ride, and your kids can take it. The kids love it, it's really fun. So these people are doing some kind of official thing because they got paperwork, and they gave me the look like, why are you talking at your phone? So let's finish our tour, I'm going to take you up on the porch, and try to peek in. But imagine, you know, in 1872, being the one of the leading citizens and having this giant house. It's just gorgeous. So, to me, it looks more like a, a home we would have seen when we lived in the Midwest, as opposed to here in Santa Barbara. They do have a number of homes kind of like this, but I've seen more homes, like the roof details. I've seen that when we lived in Boulder. I'll back up and you can see the roof details up there. So let's go and try and peek in. Even though I see a bunch of curtains. Let's go from the front porch. And then during Fiesta, which is early August, they always do some events here. So I'm sure it's open then. Dang, curtains over here too. Now, I was hoping to peek in. But imagine if you sat here and had this nice view out, how nice that would be, especially with the lake so close. Let's see if we can peek in here. Nope, can't see past the lace curtains. Okay. So we'll go back and end our, this is the drive that the horses and carriages would come up. Now it's paved, obviously. But, I mean, with this nice little walk. I'll walk to the end of the walk, turn you around. So this is actually in Goleta. Santa Barbara and Goleta blend into each other. Goleta became its own city a few years ago, but um, it's just to the west. So there you have a full view of the Stowe House. 
And if you're interested, I guess you got to come to Santa Barbara and look it up online when they're open because it, it doesn't say the opening hours anywhere. So maybe they're only open for special occasions. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you for the hearts. I am just done teaching my fitness class, so I'm going to go find myself a delicious water somewhere or go to one of the um, blenders in the grass and get myself a smoothie. So, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for following me.